Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to a new video. Today I'm here inside the new Volkswagen ID Buzz carrier and I want to show you how easy it is to connect your iPhone to the new multimedia system through wireless. So first of all, you need your iPhone. The same thing applied to the Android. So it's not a big difference there. The only thing that you have to do, first of all, guys, is just activate the Bluetooth. Then you go to the Bluetooth connectivity in the phone. You just leave it open like that. And then you go here to the app connect. So you go to app connect. Uh, it will show you that already uh, connected to other app here, but you have to go to settings and here mobile devices. And now it's search for mobile devices around you. So we will have to find my iPhone in a second. Um, just wait a second here. Also, it's open for me. Let's see what uh, Bluetooth settings. Right now, it's searching other devices. Right now, come on, come on, where, where am I? Let's see, let's see, where is it? It should be here, then iPhone. You can see here, this is my iPhone. You press it once, Apple CarPlay, and then use Apple CarPlay. It will try to go to my phone right now in this second. And then it should ask me something for permission. You can see, pair, you press pair, allow, synchronize. It will show me here. Now wait a second, also on the screen. Again, use CarPlay. Now you have to wait a second. On the Android, it's a little bit faster, to be honest. Here I noticed that on the Apple, it's a little bit slower um, because Apple asks you for so many, so many things. It's still, still, still working on it. Come on. Unable to connect your device. Please try again. And I think I know why. Let me try again. I think because you have to activate, okay. Contact has been improved, but I want to see the Apple CarPlay. Use Apple CarPlay. I think I have to activate. I know why. You have to go in settings and then you have to go to Siri. And I think you have to activate the Siri first time. Where is Siri here? Where is it? Siri, 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 Siri. Yeah, here. Siri search. You have to activate first of all, enable Siri. Yes, you see, I already enabled it and it's working. Right now it's working. So guys, if you don't find the reason why it's not working, keep in mind that you have to activate Siri. Once it's activated, you don't have to use the telephone and now it's connected. I like very much how they fit in, in here, this screen. It's all over the screen. It doesn't use parts of the screen. It's used completely the screen and this is great. And here you can see the information on the phone. You can see the map. This is the map of the phone. And what I notice also, it's very, very uh, responsive and it works relatively fine. The only thing that uh, you have to be uh, knowledge, it's that on the Apple, you have to use this plus and minus on the map. You cannot use uh, the finger size you can use on Android, but it's great. It's relatively responsive and also you can set the destinations. Very, very simple. You can use also the voice commands. Uh, you can use it as a destination just like that. Super simple. For example, if you want to use the voice command, you have to press it a few seconds. Navigate to Paris. Getting directions to Paris, France. You see, it's just working and right now it's working directly and it will navigate to Paris and just press go, just like that. And then, it's just, just to Paris. And then now it's just the working. Point, then turn right. that, that's working and if you ask me if you see directions there on the screen, the answer is not. It's just only here on the screen. And this is very simple. You have also the CNBC, for example, here. If you have the application, you have the settings of the uh, iPhone right here and also if you go down here you go in the settings uh, in the main menu here and if you go right just like that you just go to all that application that you have it installed on your phone the phone contact the map the, the messages you have also the calendar the music the Google map if you have installed it you have also Google map Spotify and WhatsApp and also Waze this is the Google map and the Google map, it's also like it's not working on the iPhone with plus and minus, you know. So that's something to keep in mind. All you have to do is just 
uh, go here and then go on the plus and minus in order to make the map bigger. So this is something to keep in mind. But other than that, that was how simple it is to connect it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was useful. So yeah, uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Stay safe and I see you soon in the next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.